So I've already got my WeatherTech floor liners removed all the way around. Um, the reason I'm putting these seat covers on is because my biggest regret with this Ranger is getting the cloth seats, but at the time it was early 2020 and nothing else was available. Um, so I have these upholstered seats and they stain really badly. They don't look too bad in the sun right now, but if you see them in the shade, they're really discolored from sweat stains and things. I've had this truck for three years. So we're gonna go ahead and put these covers on. First, I'm gonna give the whole truck a really good vacuum though. All right, we're gonna do the back seat first. It comes with this armrest cover for the center armrest cup holder thing that flips down. And it comes with these three, I guess you would call them bonnets for the back rest, uh, headrest, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's the other one. So we'll go ahead and put those on. I'm gonna start with the cover and I think the bonnets go on last. All right, so I'm doing the bottom bench and you can see um, you've got these release tabs when the seat is down to pull. That will release it and then you can lift the whole seat up. I bet a lot of you didn't know that we had a hidden storage under here. I haven't, I don't have anything in mine. Uh, maybe I should find something to put in there. <laughs> but a uh, pretty cool little under seat storage. So what we're gonna do is this cover is gonna wrap around the front of the seat. Um, oh, this does lock in the upright position too, that's cool. Um, but first I have to tuck all of these buckles along the back edge. I have to tuck them down underneath so I can reach them from underneath when I flip it back up. And then it should just be a matter of buckling them all up and cinching them up. All right, I've got all the straps. There's six to go across and then there's these two small ones on the side. Those ones just come from here, they're elastic and they clip onto your last strap there. I haven't tightened anything up yet, so now I'm gonna cinch everything tight and that should pull everything down to the corners. All right, I've got all the straps cinched down and tight. And what I went ahead and did is just uh, tie them together in a bow in this section so they're not dangling down in here and getting caught in stuff. Now I can drop this down and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna see if I can tighten it up a little bit, but those wrinkles should come out. Uh, but the next thing we're gonna do is the backs. Okay, now we gotta take the headdress off. The easiest way to do that, pinch here and pinch there at the same time and it'll just pull straight up and off. Uh, I need two hands to do it so I can't show you, but you can see I took those ones off. So, okay, so now we're gonna put the back seat cover on. Um, I thought I was gonna have to undo this seat belt to fit it down through the hole, but what you have to do is just um, slide your seat cover in between the seat belt. Just slide it in there like a person and then the whole thing should start being able to work over the top like a big pillowcase. All right, uh, once you've got it pretty much in shape over the front, you're gonna take these flaps that stick out, you're gonna push them down in there so that you can access them from the back. And then I'll show you on the other side, they just pull up and they Velcro. All right, you can see how this is pretty tight now. Um, I've got the flaps pulled up from the back, they just go up underneath here and then the Velcro just sticks down right on the flaps. Uh, make sure that you get your holes lined up for these little rubber stoppers that hit against the back of the truck. You've got one on that side and two on this side. Then you can close that up. And now we've got to figure out how to get this um, little armrest thing through. Okay, so for this part, we're just going to, um, there's a, another little uh, bib type of thing that tucks underneath. You're gonna tuck it under, you're gonna pull it through the back. That's it right there. And you're gonna pull it tight and then there's Velcro right here that it's gonna to stick to. All right, and the same thing with this, This uh, the bonnet just kind of pulls over there. Make sure you get your, your release tab through. And then there's the flap there that tucks underneath. You're gonna pull this tight and tuck it up under here and there's Velcro right there that's gonna hold it. All right, and then with the headdress, um, the bonnet just slips over the top. Uh, there's just elastic here. There's no straps or uh, um, Velcro. And once you put that little bonnet on, you can slide this guy back down. Oh, I need two hands, but anyway, you can slide it back down into position. All right, so we've got our back seat completely covered now. It looks really good. Um, I like that it's not only a protector, but it's got some kind of like neoprene foam to it. I don't know if you can tell, it kind of dents down a little bit, but it feels really comfortable. So it adds a little bit of extra cushion. Um, and I like how the back seat, the, the straps go and you can cinch them down with that buckle because you can get it really tight because this is going to take the most wear and tear of when people slide in and out. This uh, just has the Velcro on it to keep it down, but I like how this is cinched in really tight, the, uh, the seat itself. Okay, now for the front seats. Um, I've already taken the headrests off. As far as I can tell, there's no difference between the driver's side and the passenger side one. I looked for tags, there's no apparent markings. But this is similar to that back bench seat, so it's got the straps that go from the front and clip in. Um, and it's got these uh, these ones here that we're gonna clip underneath. But this, the first thing you're gonna do is pull the whole thing over the back of the seat like a pillowcase, and then everything's gonna tuck and strap underneath. All right, once you've got it fitted over the seat like that, you're gonna have to go up underneath here. And those straps in the back, these are the the ones, uh, I guess you would say this was the female end. 
um, that's gonna tuck back through the seat crack and come out behind the seat. And then these are gonna come around the front. All right, so when you get to the back of the, of the passenger seat, you've got this elastic loop here. This is the factory upholstery. It has a catch that goes, that it goes around right under there, that little white catch right there. Okay, so undo that, and then you'll be able to reach underneath and pull your buckle straps down from the top. Remember, there's three of them. You only have to undo that one side because this one here is hooked around a connector for some reason, kind of crazy. That yellow connector is wrapped around there. So I was able to reach all three of them by just undoing this side right here, the inside um, loop. And then once you buckle your straps, then you can hook that back into place. All right, once you have all those straps tightened up, you'll notice the three small kind of bungee cord looking straps. Those, there's a bar underneath there about halfway that those just go to, you can see them there. Just clip them right on there and you're good to go. Now I can put the headrest on, uh, just again goes over the top. And then this one has Velcro to go underneath. All right, front seats are all installed. They look good. Uh, haven't sat in them yet, but I'm sure they feel great. Uh, they feel good to the hands. Um, yeah, everything looks good. I'm pretty happy with how it turns out. That is solid black. It's just the sun shining on there that makes it look two-tone. And then I did discover I have a bonus because before I had no seat pockets back here. So these seat pockets are kind of a bonus add. So I like how it turned out. I'll see you guys on the next one.